South African authorities are working with their German counterparts uh, to reduce emissions in carbon intensive industries amid the impact of climate change. The captured uh, carbons are usually uh, converted into useful products such as fertilizer and various other valuable products, which is aimed at to, uh, to enhance the country's coal fired power station. Let's have more details of that in this report. Johannesburg's Kevin Power Station is the first of South Africa's fleet to try out a new carbon capture technology. The 1.6 million coal carbon dioxide project was jointly developed with German partners to reduce emissions in carbon intensive industries. It addresses a problem that I had thought that at some stage there is nothing we could do with coal. Coal is dirty and dirty and emissions are dirty. But here I understand for instance that in any power station we can capture the emissions before they actually go out. 50% of them. Carbon dioxide is traditionally captured and stored in rocks deep underground. This innovation allows for the rise of a circular industry. We are capturing the carbon, uh, the CO2 or the flue gases. We are converting them into useful products such as your fertilizer salts, your ammonia and, and, and also uh, various your, sul your sulfuric acids and various other useful products. The plants use it to grow, which is basically you closing that cycle of, of, of the carbon, which is what we need. The aim is to roll out the technology to South Africa's 15 coal-fired power stations. The aging fleet generates the bulk of the country's electricity, but is also responsible for 40% of greenhouse gas emissions. The next uh, uh, demonstration is going to be a scale-up at an, at an ESCOM power station based on the results that we will be getting from here. So we've got the results from Bordwell Boom and then at PPC Cement and now we are collecting new results at a power station and then the, the two results we will then use to inform the scale-up. South Africa has been under pressure to retire half of its carbon spewing fleet to meet 2020 climate change targets. If the carbon capture project gains ground, the world's 11th largest polluter could be on track to meet its commitments under the Paris Agreement to cut emissions by at least 20 million tons.